Many of us find the Medicare choices complicated, so we broke it down to make things clear. I have only been retired a year. My husband retired in June. Consider us fairly intelligent people. This was a nightmare. The nightmare for Mary Purcell and many of us is figuring out the right Medicare plan. We always had insurance through my husband's employer. He was there 45 years and now suddenly we lost that insurance. What were we going to do for Medicare? The Medicare website and the brochures we received show a dizzying array of choices. Insurers competing for your business offer slightly different things state by state. It can be intimidating and scary. Joe Baker at the Medicare Rights Center says the selection process often overwhelms people. I don't think we've ever gotten a call from a stupid person here. Um, people are engaged. They're intelligent, they want to know this, but it can sometimes be very confusing and complicated. And they had these plans identified by A, B, C, D, E, F. What does that mean? What, what insurance company is that? Because as a consumer, I was used to brand names. They didn't make it easy when they devised the system. Part A is basic Medicare, and most of us get it for free at 65. It covers hospitalization, nursing care, nursing home care, hospice, and home health services. But then we have Medicare Part B. That covers doctor's visits, routine medical care, preventive care, and ambulance service. You must sign up for Part B within three months of your 65th birthday if you're not working or you face a monetary penalty. If you don't enroll in that initial enroll enrollment period, you have to wait until January of March or any of any particular calendar year to enroll in Medicare for coverage that would begin on July 1st of that year. And then you would have a 10% premium penalty for every year that you could have or should have signed up in Part B. Once you sign up, there's more. Original Medicare only covers 80% uh, of your health care costs which leaves 20% of the cost up to you um, to pay for. Jennifer Cohn-Smith is with United Healthcare, one of the insurers that offer Medicare plans. When you buy additional insurance, it'll cover that, um, that 20%. Medicare Advantage is an insurance plan that coordinates basic Medicare A and B. And it's referred to as Medicare C. Generally, you pay about $104 a month. Diane Wensler of the Benefits Plus Learning Center at the Community Service Society says there's a big plus. One of the good things about Medicare Advantage plans is that there is typically no additional premium or a low cost premium and low co-payments. Medicare Advantage is run by insurers who contract with Medicare. They offer HMO options where you get all health care from their doctors and providers. And PPOs, or preferred provider networks, where there's a wider choice of doctors and hospitals. Sometimes there's a premium, and there's generally a copay. But with every single uh, Medicare Advantage plan, there is a maximum out-of-pocket limit for the year. It will vary by, by plan, so you want to make sure you understand what that is. But there is a um, dollar amount that you can count on being the very most you would spend in that year. Medicare Advantage plans usually include dental, vision, hearing, and some offer gym membership deals and more. It may be access to a 24-hour nurse line, so you can call a nurse anytime you have any health concerns. Disease management programs to help you manage any chronic conditions you have. Still, you may want more flexibility. In a Medicare Advantage plan, you have to go to the providers that are within that plan's network. So then there's Original Medicare with Medicare Supplemental or Medigap, sometimes called Part F. You pay a monthly premium in addition to the basic Medicare payment. With a Medicare Supplemental policy, you can go to a provider that accepts Medicare, and even someone who doesn't accept Medicare as well, and see the doctors of your choice. If you're somebody that travels a lot or has a second home in another state or, you know, Chicago, Arizona, New York, Florida, you may want to think seriously about original Medicare with a supplement because that has no geographic limitations, covers 90%, 95% of the doctors across the country and almost all hospitals. Travel abroad care is also included in some plans, but with the supplemental, you also need prescription drug coverage, Part D. That's an additional monthly fee. 
what do the experts recommend? Um, if I were advising my father, or I have advised my father, you know, he's in the original Medicare program with a supplement and a Part D plan. Uh, he travels a lot. Um, he wants to have access to as many providers as possible. If you were advising your mom, what would you suggest? Well, I do advise my mom. <laughs> Um, and I suggest the Medicare Advantage plan. Here are our tips to figure it out. Make a list of priorities. Do you travel? If you do, a supplemental plan might be best. Check plans to see which include your doctors, hospitals, and prescription medication. You need to take a look at those networks. Not only are, is your current doctor in there, but are there the right specialty hospitals, specialists, and others? If you do get sick, are they in there? If they are, an Advantage plan might work. For a broader range of doctors, it's the supplemental. With a Medicare supplemental policy, you just want to find out, do they accept Medicare? And here's an insider's tip. And even if they don't accept Medicare, what's interesting, you can ask them, would they accept Medicare for you? Because doctors can choose on an individual basis to accept Medicare from one individual, but not another. What did Mary Purcell do? We did take the supplemental. It's the most expensive one. I'm not sure we're really going to be able to maintain that. Um, and we took the prescription plan. The good news is you're not stuck with your choice. You can make a change. And you can do it during open enrollment periods, October to December, or in January and February. This does require a little bit of work, but it's definitely worth it. Barbara Nevins-Taylor, ConsumerMojo.com.